not clap in sync. Clap on, clap <laughs> off. We'll figure it out one of these days. What a good commercial that was. It was. It really was. Welcome How- to Regular Girls. We're, we're a year and a week old, and I feel fantastic. A year and a week, we've made it. Um, we're joined by a special guest today. We finally, have a- finally, he's making his appearance. Hi, darling. So the clap was to signify. <laughs> <laughs> it just syncs us up as performers. It lets us get uh, on the same page. Is that like a, yeah. Is that like a theater thing? <laughs> no, it's, it's just fancy Canadian schools. It's just yeah. sync our audio. <clears throat> yeah. So we Stacey looked it up on the it. internet. A four- <laughs> <laughs> it's the very first rule it's, of improv: the clap game. It's, it's like a, a, uh, uh, a pre-game <laughs> ringette ritual or something. She didn't play ringette. That was just like, me. Yeah, but she I know what ringette. All right, girls, clap she in. Let's whip clap their ass. Clap it up. Let's smoke these hoes. Absolutely. Smoke these hoes. Absolutely. <laughs> and I was saying similar things while I was tap dancing. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you have to. A tap. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. The clap is essential with tap. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I, uh, a young boy named like Kevin on YouTube taught me about the clap in when working with audio. Yes. We had, we, had, we, had, we, you know, we had some glitches oh, in the man. early stages of regular girls. I actually, <laughs> had a really big glitch last week when we were oh. doing our Instagram live. <laughs> oh, but we sorted it all out. Yeah. Or we learned from I, it. I was trying yeah. to... I was trying real hard to think of a clap joke right there. Like a chlamydia joke? Yeah. But it, <laughs> just, I haven't drank this coffee fast enough yet. Chug it. <laughs> glug, glug, you hoes. That's one of our catchphrases here. Well, John, we're Ooh. so excited that you're chatting with us today. I'm excited for your perspective on the multitude of problems I'm having this week. Yeah, I want to you know, I want to know what's going on in here with this whole the regular girls <laughs> and what y'all are, you know, talking about. And I feel like yeah, Renee's probably spreading a lot of misinformation. What? Mistruth. <laughs> Actually, that's for sure true. Yeah. That's for sure true. Yeah, so, I get... You know, sometimes these bitches got to get called out. You know? <laughs> I get half bits of information and I just roll with the story. Oh, which yeah. I have Are one you... today. Do you want to hear the information I just yes. read? Yes, Guess who course. is a new budding couple? I can't. Okay, yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you want to take some guesses, John? Take a guess at who you think is the next big celebrity budding, couple. Budding, B-U-D-D-I-N-G. Yeah. Um, yes. Oh, like butting, you mean? <laughs> butting. Butting. Uh, he's here, guys, being a regular guy <laughs> with us regular girls. <laughs> butting. <laughs> who, is the, who is the couple? Brad Pitt. No. And do you want to guess who his plus one is? I don't know. Oh, no. It's uh, going to be young. It's going to be young. It is. It's uh, Jennifer, um, what's her face? Lawrence. Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence. There's oh. no way. See, that was my half bit of information. I'm like, Jennifer, what's her name? Um, I was going to say Jennifer Garner. No, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, so I just read this thing online right now saying that's that... That's a bummer because she's kind of a cool actress, right? So, well, that's what I, I thought. Know. Stacey's on the fence, but I think... She, I do agree with Stacey that I think she's gotten a little bit douchey, and I do love her, but I watched this interview with her sitting down with Adam Sandler. It was like a variety thing, and they were like... <gasps> yeah, I like that. that? Um, uh, yeah, it was just... She's just... She's a little... She's a little odd, but she went from uh, Darren or Aaron or Darren Aronofsky. Darren, Darren Aronofsky, and then and they took it to like, Splitsville. She looks an older man. She, she does. Like, she, mm. Dating Chris Martin, now Darren oh, Aronofsky, yeah. and now Brad Pitt. Probably, um, probably some issues. Chris Once Martin's dating in. Dakota Johnson now, the girl from Fifty Shades. You like that movie? Oh yeah, I love that movie. <laughs> I love that you love that movie. <laughs> oh, it's a great afternoon watch. No, but I think I think once you start uh, hanging out with like Brad Pitt, yeah, you you exit the real world and like Brad Pitt doesn't count as a person. He's I like, think he he's thinks he's, he's a regular he's dude. He's in an though. alien planet of living a celebrity Absolutely. lifestyle. It's true. I totally agree. So, but and like, I read, also, and the sorry. thing that I read though, it said that it, it's like he's had his eye on her for years. It's like she's like twenty four. You psychopath! What are you talking about? And then it said his friends had to egg him on to like message her. It's like yeah, yeah, okay, right. Wait. You're Brad Pitt. You were just you're you just got a divorce from Angelina Jolie, the most terrifying woman in the world. Yeah. Uh, instead of like Jennifer Lawrence, who falls downstairs and shit. Is uh, is he a Scientologist? I don't think no. so. I bet he is. Secretly, maybe they you heard are. you heard that. Oh, they all heard. I uh, I love how I was like, are you into Scientology too? I got really deep <laughs> Tell into it. Tell us everything. For a bit. Imagine got you were, and I just found out right now that you were a Scientologist. But wait, so wait, where did you hear this? Let's let's uh, unpack that's a good the source. Question. Um, Star. I, I think it was actually. Um, it might have been Fox News. <laughs> was it actually? <laughs> so again, Money. it's probably not true, but. <laughs> 
I was getting ready to set up here and like you like scrolled to like the news on your phone and it was like the nugget that popped up. And listen, I was ready to lean into it. I wanted you to might know as all well it. have told me that a street pigeon told you this information. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel really bad that John and I are sitting here sharing a microphone and I have bad breath right now. Can you smell it? Nah, I'm all clogged up. Thank God. Oh, that's I broke, sweet. Yeah, I broke my nose like 10 years ago, and so I can <gasps> hardly ever smell anything. I should start oh taking more advantage of that. Hell yeah. God. Yeah, I, it just came well, from Well, now yoga. you're married, like, so you're enough. legally bound, which He's you stuck. get gross. Now you have to get gross. I mean, yeah, that's just, yeah, that just is what it is. I have um, some pits that need some shaving. You have to live up to some standards, though. I do? It was in the contract. Well, I, I yeah, didn't see this contract. True. Yeah, well, you didn't, you know. You was it fine for, print? Okay, yeah. look at this adorableness that's going on. I, <laughs> I wish I could. Name. <laughs> Pastor Pete. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, I told old pist- <laughs> Pistol Pete on the way over. I texted him. <laughs> Make sure you put that. Wait, our contract video. isn't in a text message? No, I told him to add it in. Oh. I'm just. Afterwards? Making... In she, hindsight? She was, she was with the guy who was the director in that shit movie. You're talking about who Jennifer was? Lawrence now. You Jennifer just jumped Lawrence. way back. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yes. wait. Are you talking I liked about Mother? That movie. Yeah. What oh. movie? I Mother liked it. Looked hated terrible. It. I liked it. No, it was a bad time. But you have to say. It's a bad time. Okay, so yes, it looked like a bad time. The movie's weird it's all over the place, but you and I talked about it for like 45 minutes after watching it. So at least it sparked a conversation. We weren't just like, whatever. That is true. Well, I read everything about it before we went in. Right. Because I knew I was going to hate it and stuff. So. Yeah. I wanted to at I least just, try to see if I could get it, the artsy fartsy shit. Yeah, you don't like that stuff, so. though. So at least was it. But if I had just gone into it not knowing what it was, <laughs> I would have probably walked out in like <laughs> 50, 10, 15 minutes. Thing, what is it about? Like, I don't. Is she a mom? Like, it's all. It's nuts? interpretive. Like, it's like we don't have a beginning, a middle, and an end. We just have a bunch of shit. Speaking oh, of God. interpretive, I, make, uh, I can't. I can, Speaking I can, I can oh. cuss, right? Uh, yeah, you do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live your life. Just live it. I like that. I feel like Americans say that cuss. I don't feel like Canadians say the word cuss. No, just, we're like, can like, we swear, swear in here? Yeah, can we? Can we say a swear word? Um, speaking of interpretive, um, here's yes. my professional hosting skills coming into play. Have Ooh. you seen Corey Feldman's dance moves with his music? Dude, <laughs> have you what? seen this? YouTube no. it right now. Okay, it's called guys, Co- am I, am I Corey and the sad? Angels. You're gonna what? It's called Corey and the Angels. Corey and the Angels. Wait, I You're didn't know about that. Apparently, What's he's the being song? serious. Somebody showed this to me yesterday, completely out of the blue. I don't know why. And uh, oh, wait, is this when he's good. like? Is it like the Michael Jackson esque moves where he's like in a leather jacket? Um, kind of. But there's also other ones where he's on a hoverboard, and there's like a video where he like bail. He like eats shit. He what? falls off it super hard. Yeah, it's like you have to see this. If, like, in anyone listening right now, we encourage you to also go to YouTube and check this out because it is a trip. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, I have seen this. Yes, yes, yes. With, like, the black and... Yes! Good Morning America. Yeah. He's, he's taking it so seriously, and it's... I can't. It's cool. I respect it. Also, you do? For, yeah, man. Corey Feldman, I can't dance, really... I can't dance like that. I don't know. You've got some moves. Everyone always says that you're a good dancer, and I generally disagree, but people think you're a good dancer. Yeah, okay, I can't pull that off. No, I guess you could. <laughs> you do that, like... Um, he's doing, like, the hanging tree thing. Or, like, <laughs> Oh, so you're saying you like body. it? You you're into the moves? Yeah, I think it's, he's a good dancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, the and things we're the, learning here. The people listening who are young and who is like, who, who's Corey Feldman? If you the more you look into it, the more sad it gets. Oh yeah, it's a yeah, it's a you're, it's Pandora's box that you're getting into here. Oh, There's or, a lot yeah. happening. Oh yes, what show was he originally on? The Goonies. No, he was no. on a TV show, oh. right? What? Was he on the Goonies? He He's was. on the Goonies, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, you know, everybody used to tell me I look like Corey Feldman. You do kind really? of look like Corey Feldman sometimes. No, no, Not no. new Corey Feldman, but like young Corey Feldman. I could see that. No, I used to get no. that a lot. Not I could current see that. day. Who Not do you get? Close. Okay, so, oh, oh my God. So I talked about this the other day with Cesaro. We were shooting something. Uh, we were doing a Star Wars uh, video game thing. Whoa. And I, was, I, I made the comparison of you as Harrison Ford, but as Han Solo. And he jumped on board. Like, oh, I could see that. That you can be, you're kind of a little hair. You you could age yeah. into a Harrison Ford. I could have played Easily. Harrison Ford. Yes. Easily. I mean, I could have played yeah. Han Solo. I could have Easily. played Han Solo. Yeah, without question. You have, you have the vibe, good. certainly. 
I don't know. You're I'm very good. swashbuckling. You know, I swash yes. a lot of buckles. Wow. You know? Yes. What a word. That's, that's the transition there. Swashbuckler. <laughs> um, what is it? You got Jason Momoa. He's got to get out of there. That's your whole thing now. Oh, yes. You know Jason yeah. Momoa, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Game of so, Thrones guy. I didn't you know, know if you knew who he was or not. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you just like staring off in the space? Oh, I'm just looking at the pictures. <laughs> um, so I'm Stacey, never really in this room. Yeah, yep. you never come in this room. There's a lot. A lot of magic happens in this room that you're not aware of. Mm. That is kind of crazy that you do because it's like you're always just kind of out in the other room. You're like she's always like, oh, John's in the other room, and here's just disaster going on in the in here in the recording booth. I know we're we're just talking a bunch of crap. Uh, bouncing Tons. around from story to story. And uh, I think that we've got a couple nice rugs in this room, if nothing else. Yeah, I like both the rugs. They're very thick, soft <laughs> you have You have two rugs in there? Oh, yeah. Plush rugs from West Elm. Oh, my God. Oh, what yeah. What a life. We're living the good life over here. I got a thin-ass Ikea with, like, a dog shitting his pants underneath me constantly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a question. Yeah. Do you kiss your dogs on the mouth? And does your dog um, wear pants? I Two mean, questions. my one dog, Vic, would absolutely wear pants if given the opportunity. <laughs> and he, when he puts on his jacket, he's like, thank you. Very Wait, when he it. puts on his, he has a jacket that he wears? Oh, because you're he in Toronto, to it's cold. We're in Toronto. Um, but uh, what was the other question? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Besides my dog wearing pants. What, do you kiss the dogs on the mouth? Um, I do, um, which it makes people uncomfortable. Oh, I do it too, but he thinks it's he thinks I'm gonna get some kind of like venereal disease from and, the dog. I don't take, know. You take it to another another <laughs> level too, and it's because she's <laughs> trained this dog. It's a bulldog, so he's got yeah. like he's got like the hanging lunch meat face. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and she wants to, like, put her whole head inside of his lips. That's yeah. true love. But, like, she's been doing that, like, since he was a little puppy. So now, like, he'll just walk up to her and just, like, put his, like, the inside of his lips, he'll just, like, rest them on her eyelids. <laughs> but isn't that it's what you're very supposed strange. to do? <laughs> yeah, right? But, it, yeah, oh, it's, yeah, it's very weird. He just He just puts his face, like, on her. Like the, <laughs> but you got to understand... What this dog is doing. You take him to the dog part, he's like eating other dogs' poop. He doesn't oh, eat yeah. poop. He's not a poop eater. He ate a wild, tried to eat a wild burrow's poop. Okay, that's oh, true. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. That's Got that up in his mouth and took off running. I'm going to put that down. Where was that? When did that happen? That was a, a, when uh, we were out in like... In Zion? No, uh, Bonnie Springs. Oh, God, that's true. Yeah, he was real. Oh, yeah, yeah, when you're doing that commercial, you, you tried to eat... A bunch of like a huge pile of shit. Yeah, yeah. He's got, well, he's got I his mean, tongue up yeah. other dogs' assholes. <laughs> All oh, the yeah. disease. You ever been to it like really like been like been to a dog park and just kind of like look around how, how much <laughs> slobber and shit and it is you know. I don't think that's but true. Who knows what could be in his mouth? But isn't there like that is true? Like inviting it in your mouth. We we're walking in this morning and she's like, "There's like a mattress on the." Somebody threw out a mattress in a box spring. Which is my oh. ultimate fear. Like a naked mattress. Disgusting. Yeah, she's like, ooh, yes. gross. A naked mattress. That'd be, <laughs> oh, God. That's so gross. Like, if she sees any bit of a mattress, like, she like she Sick. can't sleep in a bed. If, she, I think that's... The, I'm the same way. It's gross. It's disgusting. Yeah. But he, he just goes right up to it and starts fucking getting his mouth and his tongue and his <laughs> eyes and all over it. And, and like, then you kissed like, him later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think I have... Oh, I probably have since. Yeah. And I also put my finger in poop today, so it's not going well. Oh, I've definitely, I, I, yeah. I've my finger went path. right through the poop bag. Right that's, through. That's, that's a, yeah. I know. Well, I mean, you can't be too grossed out. You're kissing it, right? I, I know. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> it's just a different form. I want like the, I want like the third version of it. I want it to be like processed in a different way. Yeah, yeah. So when I get yeah. it like the head on, here's the actual poop. I'm out. I'm not interested in that. Well, Vic barfed silently yesterday, uh, right before I went to bed. Just, I just looked at me and then barfed, and I went, "I kiss you." Yeah, <laughs> I love that it's yeah. sick. They're they're gross. Dogs are gross, no. but I love them all. Um, all right. Tell tell the world about your bra fiasco because this oh. is wild. Okay, okay, John, buckle in. I need your advice on this. Okay, swash, so buckle in. I. Tits. Cool. I am known to have the worst bras, and and I'm an actress in the theater. People see them, 
and literally the worst bras and and I've had We're not talking casting couch here, just no. backstage theater changing. Changing like and I've had scenes where I've had to be in my bra and it's like they're disgusting. So I have to do a new show and I was like, "Okay, I'm going to go get a new bra and I'm going to get it properly fitted." Go to this store in Toronto. I pay $160 for a bra. Let that sink. Are you in. hearing this? Yeah. 160 bucks for a bra. Does it do anything else? Yeah, right? No. Is it like fembot boobs? But I put it on and I was like, whoa, cool. I'm getting properly fitted. And then I was just like, hey, I'm in my 30s. I like nice things, right? Today, <laughs> yes. Yes. See? Today, yes. So then today I um, uh, put it on and then had red crazy lines on my back and like cut into my arms. And I was like, oh, this is like actually kind of brutal. And they won't let me exchange it. I'm not even asking for a refund. They won't let me exchange it because I took the tags off. And I had it for crazy. less than 12 hours. Who or what? 24 like, hours. No one just buys a $200 bra to wear it once and return it. That's not how that well, gag does works. It, does it fit better? Is it a more quality product? It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. Not. Maybe so that's then I, why. Maybe it needs to be snug on there to keep them bad boys, you know. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> I mean, maybe you're right, and maybe I'm just used to my garbage beige disaster that's like 10 <laughs> years old. But yeah, I was I guess, like, yeah. But I was like, I, can I not re- exchange it? They're like, no, you took the tags off. And I'm like, who is wearing a bra with tags? No, nobody's wearing a bra with tags. As soon as you get home, that tag is well, out the did, door. Then you try it. I like. Then you try it on. Were you properly fitted? I don't understand. It's not like a day sorry, trial, John, though. <laughs> do you work at the store? This is what this woman <laughs> said. It's like, where's your receipt, hey, man? Don't, no, do the the, t- don't do the crime if you can't do the time. <laughs> but this woman, like, help me out. But you're only wearing the bra for, like, five minutes. So, like, anything feels fine for five minutes. And you're like, well, I guess this sure. works. High heels feel great for five minutes. Oh, and then you walk I mean, in them. And you're like, no, I can't live anymore. Cut off my feet. And I don't then, want them. But then you get to return it, even if you wore it. True. I talked to somebody the other day that said she bought, like, a $700 blazer for something and then just took it back. Because she wore oh, it for the yeah. thing she needed and took it back. Like, people I've do that. It's a I've racket. That. I've absolutely done that. I that's, don't blame that's them. That's what, like, the personal shoppers do, right? Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's the same thing. Um, I have a question for you, Stace. Please. When was the last time that you had matching underwear and bra? Oh, my God. As a child, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no one never, does that. Never, not, never, no. never. Who does? I mean, I, I'm wearing a sports bra like 90% of the time. I Sorry. barely have matching socks. Like, I had to do an audition today for some reason. They're like, you have to have your shoes off. And I was like, Ugh. why? What a disaster. I looked like, like just an insane woman. Yeah, it's not, that's not good. Well, people no. generally expect socks to not match. I think that's okay, but oh, whatever. No, underwear, no, 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 no. no. No, never. It's too much. Never. Do you, never. Uh, how much do you spend on a bra? Um, generally bras are like what, like forty bucks or something like yeah, Victoria's that's Secret. Yeah, more reasonable. Forty how much are bucks. They, how much are they at Victoria's Secret? Oh, you could so, get at least a, like eighty bucks. I don't buy those bras. I don't dabble in that world. I actually yeah, but don't, you don't like don't wearing have... bras. A lot of times, I'm not even wearing a bra. Yes, I'm not into talk... it. It's because we talked about this. You have like a fun, you're like, boobs are fun. And then, you know, <laughs> I I have boobs that have to be like controlled and like they have to like go to work at 8 a.m. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, these <laughs> you gotta work. clock in. These are working breasts. They're not, it's not fun. Very it's intense. Just... Very intense boobs. They are. <laughs> I mean, they're like, you know, but Renee's like, I don't know. Sometimes I just like, I don't know, just I pray that they they stay in my shirt and they do. And I'm like, oh, that's a nice life. Actually, the other day I almost <laughs> popped a boob out. I was wearing this shirt it was, or this. It was like a jumpsuit from House of Harlow. But right. it's like the pants come on and then the top like crosses over to cover each boob. So if I lifted my arms up. Them titties were coming out. It almost happened. I was interviewing Machine Gun Kelly and it almost went down. Oh, in front of the troops. Uh, no, no, but I, I had an issue. At the, no, this was before the troops in L.A. Oh. Uh, because he was there. But you said that happened at the troops, too. No, I almost flashed. These boobs are flying out it, this a lot was more not, than I thought they It was not my boobs. Like it was not my boobs at troops. It was my my, my underwear. Oh, okay. Oh, because the wind? No, I got stuck getting in the ring, and I my mic pack got caught on no. the middle rope. And I like it like jerked me and my skirt was like short as it was. And I was like, whoop, I had to like I had to like redo my entrance to get into the ring because I almost, um, yeah, flashed the troops. It's uh, it's for the troops. It's for the boys. It's for, it's for the, you know, <laughs> for the we're fans of the USA, troops. USA, baby. For the troops. <laughs> 
That's how we, that's how we do it. Y'all you, bundled up up there north, and the Canadian Army don't ever get none of that love. But no, here's the don't. thing. I mean, Too cold. It's fun with the bundle gotta up. Stay in. you got to bundle up, and you got to earn it. That's how we work in Canada. you got to earn that nudity. Yeah, they might get an ankle or a wrist, but that's about Geisha it. Geisha style. Absolutely. 100%. Oh, yeah. No, I I, uh, I literally did a commercial shoot the other day, and I had to wear a button-down shirt, and they were like, it, it was impossible. They could not be contained. Nor could the other girl in the in the spot with you me. You both had a boob issue. Are you wearing the Tons. bra right now? No, the I wish I could. Bra. Are you about to ask yeah. Stacey to show it? <laughs> Reveal it to us now. Here's the thing. I was sending it to friends, being like, look at this new bra. I'm a new woman now. Hey, everyone. I'm a fancy lady, and what an idiot. What well, an if, idiot. It, if it did, if it did fit correctly, if it was... Like a properly yeah. fitted bra, would you wear yeah. it every single day? Hell, you can't, for you can't live that life. You got to wash for, your bras. You got to wash it. But for 160 bucks, I'm gonna get buried in that thing. I'm not even gonna wear anything yeah, else. Yeah, I was gonna say it's not that's that un- it's point. not that unreasonable if you wear it like every day. Well, and that's the yeah. racket with bras is that they jack up the prices because we need them. Like women need bras. Absolutely. And, yeah, and like like Stacey says, you get in your thirties, you want to start having nice things, you need to start really reining it in. Why don't they put, being the woman that you want to be? And if that means you wear nice bras. Bras into a shirt. They do. Like what, they yeah, they do do that. Really? But it's okay. not it's it doesn't give you the shape of a like boob a, like that a you little, would like. Like a little hammock in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> titty yeah, hammock. Vacation. A little titty hammock. <laughs> yeah, but it's true. Fun. A lot of shirts will have like the like padding in it, but it's like a bikini padding and it's not going to give you like the lift and the oh. like pizzazz and the razzle dazzle that you need for the day. You need to find it. You just need to find a bra that's uh, like stays clean, you know, like a hypoallergenic or something, you know. <laughs> totally. Or something that's A like, self cleaning bra. Some kind of thing that. Oh, I'd love. Something you can. You, you know, that doesn't absorb, you know, boob sweat and gunk and... <laughs> boob gunk. Ew. Boob, and Milky boob gunk runoff. is like the worst gunk. It's like, <laughs> right? It's whatever's the under worst. there. Uh, uh. Yeah, right? Is yeah. that like under boob sweat? Yeah. But that's I, something that's treacherous territory. When I, find a, when I find a quality piece of clothing or uh, attire, I pretty much... I'm like, well, it doesn't get any better than this, and I just stick with it. Like your Lake See, Tahoe hoodie you're wearing every, right every now? Day. Yeah, Yeah, it's a good hoodie. <laughs> but Tina's oh, a I smart way. I found one of That's your hoodies a... in the closet the I other got... day that you haven't worn in a long time, and I think it's about time you busted it back out. Oh, okay. That's all I'm saying. All right. I, re- I saw it, and you're going to be happy when I show you what yeah, it is. Yeah. I live an all purpose life. I got all purpose shoes. Whoa. I work, yeah, I could, I could work in them, work out in them, wear them in real life. You know? I was explaining they're not, they're not good to run in, but the, I, I could pretty much do, use this boot for everything. Yes. Now, you yes. have gone to the gym in those boots. Oh, all the time. Oh, so, John, you can't do that. So what about the treadmill? Because I, I, got, I got, got, I don't like the treadmill. You bouncy. don't like the treadmill? Oh, me no, neither. I just got into bouldering. I'm a rock climber now. Yes, I don't know if I told, told you Stacey's rock climbing. Remember, oh, we yeah. talked about that. We, we should, had the conversation. We should go. We should come down we, here to God's country. I would love to. I'll take I mean, out there in the desert. <laughs> I'm getting rock climbing shoes. Uh, really? And, you best believe I'm going to be trying those on, and I'm going to keep the tags on until I know damn right. my shoe. You're damn right you're going you gotta, to. You got to get the trail running shoes as opposed Whoa. to, like, the big, giant, hiking, heavy boots. Right. Yeah, yeah. Get to, uh, don't buy them at REI because the REI is marked up like hell. Wow. Really? But you could try them on at REI, though. And then like, buy them. Go elsewhere. Runner, and then, like, buy them online for, like, half as much. Ooh. But she's That's talking about like rock, like rock climbing shoes are more like water shoes, kind of right? Like they're really yeah. thin. Oh, if you're yeah. going like vertical. Yeah, rock like climbing. that's what she's talking yeah, about. Yeah, those are like ballet slippers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. so that's what I've been doing for like. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to it. I really like. I like it. It's like 15 foot wall, and then you have to jump off. You said so you nice. want to do that, yeah? Go rock yeah, climbing. Yeah, yeah. I've never done that where you're like on the ropes. I, I'm not on the ropes, ropes either. It's like free. Like you just kind of climb up and work your way around. Oh, I've done that. Yeah. Yeah, and you fall on the big mat. Yeah. I've never been to one of the places, though. That seems fun. So though. where did you do it? Where did you... Oh, you did it in real life? Yeah. What? Where? I mean, not like straight up and down, though. When did you do this? That seems dangerous. She's in like a facility. You're doing yeah, it but, in the real world? Yeah. I've that done it with like you there. When? Where? I know what I mean. When? Where? Remember like when... Uh, oh, at Red Rock? Yeah, we were out with my sister that one time. Oh, yeah. That, that actually scared the crap out of me. We were up super high, and you're just like scaling this mountain like some like goat. Whoa. Just yeah. moving and shaking, moving. That's terrifying. Like, yeah, it was super scary. We were already up at the top of where the hike ended, and then he kept going. You're nuts. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, you got to do the bouldering inside. You got to get the terrain first. Then you can go nuts. He likes to live his life like that, though, because even when you did um, Angel's Landing, that was a doozy. Yeah, but anybody, anybody can do that. That's not true. I couldn't. My body froze. But You were so high. <laughs> that was really funny. Yeah. Yeah. I you, Your butthole puckers a little bit. <laughs> And but there it is, everyone. My, Your butthole goes nuts. When, because the way back, it's way less scary. You, can you, can you, you set the stage a, for, for for Angel's Landing, though, so people understand how scary it is? Because it's awful. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a pretty demanding hike. That, But, like, it's pr- real popular. Tons of people do it every day, you know. I mean, like, a kid could It's in it. Zion. But it, 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 there's part of it up toward the top that... Is a very thin walkway. Yeah, it's in Zion in Utah. How far is the drop? Like 15,000 feet. Like, you ever seen, like, in the Looney Tunes when, like... Yeah. Like, uh, Wile E. Coyote realizes he's, like, across the edge, but he doesn't fall yet, and he looks down, <laughs> and then you see, like, his perspective, and then he looks back up and then holds up a sign, and then he falls. Ooh. It's, like, that high. <laughs> it's Ooh, really scary. shit. Uh, but did you say that I was a kid? Cried. But yeah, but so it's very thin, and like you have to hold on. They have chains built into the wall, so you have to hold on to the chains. You don't really have to hold on to them. But, I disagree. But it appears that, and and then yeah, so it, it's just very like sketchy and very thin. And you, you, if you made a major mistake, people have died on this though. Yeah, like Ooh. not that many. But it's happened. Yeah, you know where people haven't died walking their dog around the block. That is a lie. I'm sure Actually, people have died. <laughs> you're one oh, of them. Totally. I bet people Actually, are. you're a high, it's probably a higher oh, odd. That'd higher. be the saddest thing in the world. Like, dying in Zion will be like, that's sad, but you know, what a cool way to go out. <laughs> sure. Cool but story. if you got hit, man, if you got if you hit by a car walking your dog, and that's then you're sad. just dead lying on the side of the road, and the dog is oh. just like, the dog would stay with you and be like sad as fuck. Have you oh ever seen that's the saddest thing ever? Have you ever that seen the video? How dare you? Is this what you're talking <laughs> I'm about? I'm sorry. I, I, yeah, you, we could you see. elaborated. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that that was like a safe, easy thing to do. And you like to do these like terrifying hikes. But have you guys seen those videos of like dogs going into like their like owners that have like cancer or something and they like lay with them? It's like, Renee. have you seen that? Have you seen these? I can't what? Yes, these pop course. up on my Twitter feed. I'm not happy about it, but like. I can't watch that. I don't it's horrifying. That. It's really sad. I, don't I know. Like, I don't like sad movies. I don't like sad. Me I don't neither. Like, I don't like sad anything. I like to be Me uplifted. Neither. I don't know. I was I given a book today that um, was dem- told I, that she cried at the end and she left it for me. So I'm excited to read that. I like oh, a good cry. Yeah. She no. Likes, no. She That's what you would scary movies. I, li- I want to. Yeah, yeah. I want to leave the theater with a happy ending. Me too. I demand a happy ending. I was so mad when we watched that shark movie. And they gave like the false finish. The Mandy Moore one. Yeah, they gave the false finish where she got a chunk out of her leg, but she and her sister still survived. Yeah. And then you realize, nope, everybody's dead. That was just a hallucination. Enjoy the no. rest of your night. Hope you've enjoyed the last two hours. I invested two hours of nervousness watching this and scary she movie. Dies. And then I get no reward for we it. We couldn't breathe get, during the movie. I just get despair and pain. <laughs> You could have just let her live so we could walk out of that theater happy. (laughs) Didn't didn't Mandy Moore live and the sister died? Mandy Moore lived, right? No, they both died. Did they both die? I think they both died. It was tragic, I, regardless. I just, I just love hearing John being like, "Could you just let her live?" <laughs> like leaving the theater. No, it was, I can't either. It I was can't really watch stressful. Sad movies. So this is what I love about Christmas movies: is that they always have a happy ending. You guys, they have always you, okay, come wait. full circle. Oh, do you have, have a? Have you one? heard the song? Okay, have you heard the a Christmas song called "Christmas Shoes"? Oh, I've heard "Christmas Shoes." Oh, yeah. It's so sad that my mom had to pull over with us in the car to cry, and no! I was like, "It's Christmas." Yes. Oh my god. It's, it's sad. sad. Who yeah. makes a, make a sad Christmas song? It's I know. Don't listen to it. You'll get really upset. It's really sad. It's about a little boy just wanting to buy his mom a nice pair of shoes before she dies. Isn't that horrible? It's that is so sad. I know. I don't want no, I don't, I don't want no part of that. But no. generally Christmas movies, and let me tell you, I've been watching them. I'm saving the good ones for like this week and next week. What's um, the good ones? Oh, what Home about, Alone. What about It's a Wonderful Life? Does the guy die in that, or am I thinking about something else? No, he doesn't die. No, he realizes, like... Isn't there a Christmas so... movie where somebody dies? I'm sure. I mean, oh, there's got to be. But, like, my good ones are Home Alone, 
Good Christmas one. Christmas Vacation. Great one. Family Stone. Oh, all the mom oh, dies Family in Stone's that. really sad. The, the mom yeah, dies Family in that. Stone. Diane Shit. Keaton. Oh, I know. Yeah. She does die and it is really sad. Of yeah. damn. I, but it's that's like, why, God, but it's no, so it's good not story. even. No. It's not a good cry. It's a sad cry. It's like stepmom. No, no. Oh, stepmom. It, it's the exact sad. same level. I, I cry every single time I watch stepmom. Every oh single my. time I cry. 100%. Oh, and that's a Christmas one too. It is a little bit. That That's a Christmas one. I would consider like I could loop in Dumb and Dumber into that just because it's wintry. Only because it's very wintry. Or okay, like, it, uh, it's not. It's like a Thanksgiving yet. Christmas movie. Yeah. 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 I don't know why because I feel like they always play it on TV. I agree. You know, and like, well, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles is like 100 percent a Thanksgiving movie. But Great movie, so good, such um, a good movie. And Die oh, Hard, it's so good. My dog, Die is, Hard. Oh yeah, Die Hard's a Christmas movie. Yeah, Die Hard's a great Christmas movie. It is such a good Christmas movie. I'm gonna watch that. I haven't seen Die Hard in forever. We watched it last year. Oh, you got to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to. <laughs> you got to. What are the group thoughts on Love Actually? Oh, Love Actually is on my list 100. percent I love it. Love. We talked love about it. it last week. So you we know did. Prince Harry. You know Prince Harry, yeah. The redhead, like the real prince, the actual, yeah, yes. you know uh, prince the real Harry. prince, yeah, the real prince. <laughs> so he's marrying Meghan Markle. I was showing this to you before, and you weren't that interested. However, somebody did like a meme showing the little boy and the little girl from Love Actually, the little redheaded kid and the black girl that fall in love at the end. It's them coming. It's like a true story. They'll find it. It is kind of crazy. It does look like it's super yeah. adorable. You're not following. Uh, I don't know the movie you're talking about where it has all the different. Situations. Yeah, you like it. And then, it's it's and got the, like Hugh Grant. It's got the bad guy from Die Hard. Exactly. Yeah, it does. And then he, Alan uh, Rickman. Then he, yeah, yeah. In that scene with the Joni Mitchell that we talked about yeah. last week, it's so a heartbreaker. Sad. Whoa, it is. That, it really. What's that guy's name? Alan Rickman. He's in two big Christmas movies. Which Di, oh. Die Hard Die and Hard. Love Actually. Oh, I know. Yeah, he's 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 cleaning up. Cleaning oh, up well, with it all. Well, um, well, should we do our very first sponsor? We're at the 30-minute mark. We did oh it. God, We're we halfway do, there. We're doing it. Perfect. Halfway there. Okay, so to... shall we jump in? It's HelloFresh, friends. You like HelloFresh, Hello yeah, Fresh. John? Love it. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So listen, HelloFresh knows that its customers are busy and loves that they wear their business as a badge of honor. So while the holiday season can creep toward chaos, there's a festive hustle and bustle you should take time to enjoy. You have to. You got to take time. Enjoy your lives. Let somebody else do the cooking, but have it delivered, you know? Yes, absolutely. Um, So HelloFresh does the shopping, planning, and delivery. So all you have to do is hustle, bustle, and enjoy. That's the theme of this holiday season is hustling and bustling. Uh, HelloFresh includes recipe cards with six easy steps to calm the holiday chaos. Because that don't you go crazy, Renee, during the holiday season? Oh, I go crazy. It I I turn into a different person. Oh, she goes bananas. She's like not yeah. even having fun. <laughs> it's true. No, it's totally She's true. Like, oh my god, this is, and I'm like, why are you cooking all this? Crap. Just relax. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, I, like, let's just order pho and just chill. Like, See? <laughs> yeah, you Why are you cooking this? Gi- why have you been up since 4 a.m. with this <laughs> giant bird? Because <laughs> you're an insane person. So you, you can choose your delivery day to keep up with your busy holiday time schedule. And HelloFresh can help you stay afloat during the busy holiday season, Renee. They can. And the great thing about HelloFresh, too, is, of course, um, you can decide if you want to have meat or you want the vegetarian option. The one that uh, has really been knocking at my door is the butternut squash and sage risotto. Because, as we said, I love cooking. So doing a risotto is something that actually takes like some time and effort. So being able to have all the ingredients on hand to put that together, that's talking my language. Absolutely. Um, so, guys, we have a code, which is Regular Girls Thirty, um, which you can use. Use it. Get- use it up. It's going to get you guys thirty dollars off of your first week of HelloFresh. So, just visit HelloFresh.com and enter our promo code, which is Regular Girls Thirty Three Zero. Yeah, I've seen this thing. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't, if you can't cook, or you just don't want to cook, or you don't like the shop, like if like me. But yeah. if I wanted to, if I wanted to be like people to think that I cooked, a box comes to the door. It's got all <laughs> the ingredients in it. They're already measured out. It tells yeah. you step one, two, three, four, five. Easy. And, and like Easy. any buffoon can appear to be a cook. So that's what the deal is. That's what any we're talking about here. There you buffoon. Go. That's the nuts. And, that's the nuts and bolts of it. <laughs> Use the code. I love it. <laughs> Use our code regulargirls30 to get $30 yes. off your very first week. Just go to HelloFresh.com. And uh, 
Get with it. Slow down your holiday. Enjoy time. Spend time with your family and friends. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, don't stress out about it. This is a memo directly to me. And with is. you, HelloFresh. <laughs> well, thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring us. As per the huge. Um, per what are you guys huge. doing for the holidays? What's your plan? Well, okay, here's the thing. So, like, I had my... Uh, my nephew now is like five. So now he's like getting into the holiday season, which sidebar, I took him to a place in Toronto called the Poop Cafe. Oh, I saw maybe you or Brendan posted about this. Was it everything you needed it to be? It was everything I needed to be and more. So we took him to the Poop Cafe and he's five years old. His favorite um, joke is um, Auntie Stacy poops. That's a big joke. No, that's classic. Uh, everyone poops. We all know everyone that. Everyone poops. I everyone have a, poops. I have a whiteboard on my fridge and it just says pee on it. That he wrote. Yes. Um, so we took him to the poop cafe. You sit on a toilet. Okay. <laughs> There's poop emojis everywhere. You can order Sundays, but it's like a Korean theme too, or it's a Korean restaurant. So it's like Korean desserts. So we got like in a toilet bowl, we got like <laughs> shaved milk with like cornflakes and almonds, which was actually so good. That actually and sounds like it would be good. And then on top of it, on top of it was gelato and we got um, Oreo gelato. Oh, hell yes. What the fuck? Right? Yeah. It's wacky. Is this and like for kids? Because they think yeah. it's funny? Yeah. And then they give you like a little like poop cookie on top. Poop's not and then, that funny. Oh, <laughs> poop, poop's well, you need, funny. You need context for it. You know? Just eat it. <laughs> not it when you're five. It can take you the distance though. Yeah. Like when you're like a kid or like just as like a gag of like let's go to the poop. What is it? Poop cafe? Poop cafe. We go went. To poop cafe. Everything's poop themed. It is odd though. Somebody's like we need to make a restaurant and dedicate everything Koreans, to poop. That's a, Koreans, I can see Absolutely. that. Absolutely. They, so they want cool. that gimmicky like in, thing. In Japan, there's a lot of weird stuff like that, you know? Yeah. yeah there's like the cat cafes. I, I passed one of the cat cafes when I lived in New York. And it, what was crazy about it is how many people were waiting outside to get in. There's a cat cafe in Toronto. Or a cat, yeah, a cat cafe in Toronto. I don't like, I don't like cats enough to go do that. I mean, I like cats just fine. But like, if it was a puppy cafe, uh, listen, I'd do that. Why is there not a puppy cafe? I think that would be more... Oh, I'm sure there is. There's got to be. I also feel like... Way more popular. There's got to be like... But with a puppy cafe, there'd probably be like poop everywhere. That's true. That would be the true poop cafe. That's right. what that I thought you were going to say. I thought the you were going to say it was like a dog-friendly thing or something. Oh, no. Oh, it was not dog-friendly, but it was certainly kid-friendly. And it was only like nine bucks for the Sunday. And then I got... Brendan got coffee and it was really good. Really? Like really good coffee. And okay. I had, yeah, but it was a success. And then, uh, in, but he's learning how to read, <clears throat> or can read, is in school, and he's reading the menu. And it was like, poop. And then, like, or like, uh, one just said, holy shit. And he, and he read that out loud. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't know what he was saying, but he was just like, holy shit. And we were like, ah, uh, 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 X night. Yeah. Um, so anyways, for him, for the holidays, I will, we'll probably go to my parents and his parents they're totally polar opposites it's the, quite your the guys, trip your guys parents are opposite yeah like brendan's family's so quiet and like they r- take time to read right and my parents uh don't know what a book is and they <laughs> just and it's just everyone yelling i like, my, I like the loud nonsense though i'm into that i love oh, the great. loud like bullshit yeah, it's like cocktails flying, yes. like everyone's playing darts. Um, oh, I, like, I like that. Yeah. I like all of that. Yeah, okay. It's real fun. When no my one nephew plays was, darts anymore. We Let's play darts a quick all shout out the for time. Darts. darts is a good time. And like when my nephew was four, he came upstairs. It was last year and he came upstairs. And I was like, where were you? He's like, I was playing darts. And I was like, <laughs> the kid darts? And he goes, no. <laughs> I was like, oh. Okay. Uh, Remember when we had kids at our house and you had like took them to the garage? We didn't know where like they want. They were like they wanted to like hang out with John, and he's oh, like, "Well, I'm." Worst. I was like, I, "I can't be left alone with children." Are you kidding me? <laughs> but you have ninja stars. Well, of they, course you he, can. That's he, you're basically a ninja turtle come to life. Yeah. Well, we went on like the, we walked the dog, and then that was I was trying to keep him. I'm like, hey, keep up. <laughs> These right, kids right, are like, they're probably like seven and like yelling, four. They're just saying inane things just that toddlers say. You didn't like it? Uh, I mean, it was entertaining for a minute. <laughs> you guys were gone and then, and then I just, for so long. No, and then I just put them in the garage and just, their favorite thing was the treadmill in the garage. I just was like, hey, oh, stand yeah. on this. And they're just like trying to keep, they're putting it at like 10 and trying to like. Run they're like holding onto the handles and like their feet are flying out. They're, they're like fully horizontal. They're getting, they're getting rocketed off this thing. And oh my God. <laughs> They're resilient, though. Dude, Kids bounce back. They're yeah, fine. They're just like ninja kicking the punching bag and shit. They're, you know, good time. <laughs> yeah, they do. I just got to let them get their energy out. That's true, actually. 
Burn off I feel some like, steam. But I feel like I would go to your house and even as a 31-year-old woman would be like, oh my God, you guys have a freaking harpoon? Like I would go crazy. <laughs> like, let's shoot something. Ninja Actually, stars. Actually, I will say ever since Halloween, and this is on you, that we bought those pumpkins and we bought the giant one for you to use your shambok on. And you haven't That's, done it. It's still, we have a pumpkin in front of our house still and we're like decorated fully for Christmas and it's just like a random pumpkin on our lawn. We need to And that's that, that whip, right? That's the whip that yeah. cuts into, the, you did that with the watermelon. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. This is not a toy. Oh, I want to, I want to <laughs> try that. South, Are you freaking kidding South me? South African whip. Look I want to, I don't even need to look it up. I you saw it in real be, life. You know what it'd be great for? It's killing snakes. Ew, Ooh. it would actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hope, I can't wait till we see a rattlesnake. I hope there's a giant rattlesnake in the yard one No! I would love it so that much. That should never happen. Yeah, I mean, that, I'd be like, ugh. Ooh. And then you'd have to like. You would freak out if you saw a rattlesnake. You kidding me? Oh, yeah, for a second. But then I'd be like, fuck yeah. You get upset <laughs> when the bees are in the backyard. Yeah, they're pissing me off. I'm trying to... <laughs> Can you take the whip and kind of tell the bees to get out of there? Wow, that would oh. be a skill. Oh, while well, I was whipping my towel around this morning, I was in the hot tub because they've like we got this new hot tub and they've like you guys they, they've uh, they we're living the good life over here. You really are. Um, Plush rugs and hot tubs. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I got freaking a shitty bra and a husband who sits down shirtless eating sweet potato fries. It's a totally different <laughs> life over here. Well, he does a yeah, lot of stuff I, like I do that, that too. too. Anyway, so. <laughs> They've the bees. I think have like burrowed into the. They've like they like being under the cover probably because it's like dark and moist. Maybe I don't know. Maybe bees like what? that. So like when I took the cover off the uh, off the hot tub this morning, I'm like, here we go, morning dip time. Very exciting. <laughs> and then just, brrr, just bee, dozens of just bees everywhere. I'm like ah, and so I'm just uh, I got them kind of shoot away. I thought they were gone because there's really nothing over there for them. Which is why I think yeah. they've gathered there. And then, yeah, and then I'm in the tub, and oh. they start, they come back, and they're swarming around my head. And I'm like dunking my head, and I'm like standing up. So then I realize I'm like standing up, and I grab the towel, and I'm just like whipping these. I'm standing, so I'm just like naked and just whipping. Yeah, he's towel. nude in our backyard in the morning. Like this is daylight, whipping, and I'm like whipping yeah. bees and going. And I'm, woo, woo. And I'm like elevated because the hot tub's like elevated, so I can <laughs> see fully into my neighbor's yard. And I'm like, I'm like, I hope nobody comes out. But I was under a siege. I was under attack. I'm like, just, I'm just, just whipping wanted- this towel. There's just water and bees, and my balls flying everywhere. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy to see him. Like dead I mean, bees. Imagine you, if it, like, stung your taint. You'd be in deep trouble. Yeah, you, very... Well, I just like that, like, you beat people up for a living, but you're like, ooh, bees! And then you're like, my nuts! <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm fucking stung in the eyeball. I'm trying to relax. I'm trying to relax. Bee, bees are not a relaxing thing. No, they're, they're not. not. They're not at all. And I, we act, there was a cockroach in our house last week. Do Ew. they travel in packs? Do you know? Yes, they do. Uh, one, so we might have an infestation. There's one. There's good. See, we're not living the good life over here. It's really taking a dip. I'm not really worried about it. I think it's because it's by the. You didn't see it and kill it. Cockroaches happen, man. They used, to, they used to get on me like in my bed. No. Uh, when I lived in Tampa, they would, I lived yeah. in the, the worst. I lived in the grossest place you could imagine. Just cockroaches Ooh. everywhere. Yeah. We had cockro- We had cockroaches in one apartment here that were like so many they were in our microwave. No. Yeah, man, we had mice coming out of our outlets. Oh hell no! I would out take of a the cockroach. Stove. I would take a cockroach over a mouse any day. If we had mice in our house, I we'd uh, have to move. You know, you have a, mice in you your know, house. You killed for sure. a mouse with his teeth. Oh yeah, and had it in Blue? his mouth. Yeah, it was the dog. And no, you put, you put your mouth on that mouth. This is what I'm saying. <sighs> okay, you have a good point with that. I can't argue that. But that was a long time. Dead ago. mice, that, weird ew. mattresses. How long was that and tail that's all on that in mouse? Your mouth. Ew, Actually, I think it was what? a rat. I don't even think it was a mouth. A mouse. I think it was a rat. It was a giant white rat. It wasn't. It wasn't white. It was, was white. it? It was white. Yeah. I don't know what. It was some Seriously? Kind of, yeah. Ew. So my it was a pet. pet? What do you mean? No, it was white. No. Are you sure? Yeah. Might have been like an albino rat. No. It was white. It wasn't. Ew. It wasn't dark. But maybe it was like brown. Sick. Ew. Ugh. Yeah, that's, that's disgusting. Terrible. Yeah, weird things happen out here in the desert. There's well, a lot I'm of sure. bizarre animals. Yeah, and they're yeah. probably in your walls. Yeah, they probably live in this house with us and the dog. Yeah, I'm, I I'm think never, I watch enough I've HGTV to know. That's yeah, a confirm. I've, I've never seen a scorpion here either. No, no. Thank God. Ugh. 
Could you imagine? Could you imagine? That? We have a that's friend cool. of ours that said he went into his backyard and has like a, if you light, if you have a black light, you can see them all in the backyard. And he said he had a ton and he didn't live very far from us. Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah I don't, don't want to know. I wouldn't do that. As long as they don't bother me. Yeah. They can like, the they scorpions? Can, they, they can fuck you up. They can, but most of them aren't that poisonous. They're like a bee sting, aren't they? Yeah, there's some though that I think you might, can possibly fuck you up. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of terrifying things out here. He saw, what was that um, thing that you saw? Oh, the tarantula hawk? Have you heard of a tarantula hawk? Uh, no, that sounds terrifying. But it's kind of a cool dude, name, right? Dude. Tarantula oh, yeah. hawk. It sounds this like thing a... is like, it looks like a, like a dragonfly. It's got orange wings, like a dragonfly with orange wings. What? But what it does is it just, it uh, flies around and scans for tarantulas and it flies down Stings the tarantula with its stinger that completely paralyzes the tarantula, but it doesn't kill it. Then they pick the tarantula up, drag him back to their nest, which is like a hole in the ground. They bury it in the hole in the ground. They lay their eggs inside of the paralyzed but still this alive tarantula. Is and then crazy. they then they bury it and they fly away. And the babies are uh, so like the babies are born inside the tarantula and they eat their way out. But they're so instinctive that they know to not eat the through the vital organs so as to keep the tarantula alive for longer. So, That's crazy. So Isn't that, that nuts? That, so, like, I've never felt sorry for a tarantula. <laughs> and don't, yeah, until now. But, like, like, what damn. a shitty way to go. Getting done dirty. Just paralyzed and just had babies inside of you eating their way out of you. What a slow, oh. agonizing death. Uh, this just made me think of something else that I read today, um, sort of related, because that sounds to me like some like crazy like aliens thing. Yeah, it's the most, yeah, pain- it's like, it's it's most like painful predator. insect thing in the world, apparently. Did That's you? why I was scared. Um, I, was like, oh, I don't get stung by that bitch. Um, no. on, a, on a lighter note that still has to do <laughs> with something terrifying, uh, is they're doing a musical of aliens. How? I don't know. Like, I saw that. Like... The Hold on, I'm grabbing something to plug in my computer. Keep talking. Okay. Scary space movie aliens like Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, like the like the trilogy of aliens. I think that they're bringing to the theater. You would see that. I would totally. See How that. good would that be? I don't be? think that needs to be a musical though. No, but like because there's no like whimsicalness or like fun because you got to because a musical's yeah, got to yeah. have like some fun numbers and like a sad number and like yeah. a romantic number and you got to go through like the. Uh, that's pretty much just all scary. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm We're kind of so far in out in space. <laughs> How do we get to this place? Whoa! Aliens trying to eat my face. That's really Glad good. You're really I good at it, bro. can of mace. He's good at this. When you guys come to Toronto, you'll have to come do Second City. You'll have to do come do the set. Oh yes! Wouldn't that be fun? I don't know. You just, you I just did. Before. You just did so great. It rhymed and it was on tune and it was great. Yeah, he's he's good at coming up with songs. I'll give him that. Oh, not me. That's tough. But I he haven't seen. Do you guys go see musicals? No, but I really want. Like I want. So we don't go to musicals. But I've said this before. I've made my statement on regular girls before that I want to go. I've said it before. The see the Nutcracker. Yeah. So I, I want to go see that, and I also just want to go to like a symphony. But we don't, we I mean, we do go. get plays and stuff out here, but we've never gone. But I'm interested in dabbling in that world. I'm ready so to step into it. I would go There's to so the many. Nutcracker. Yeah, we were supposed to go. But if I'm going to go, I'm going to wear, I'm going to wear like a suit and play a character the whole time. I'm, <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to talk, talk like Niles from Frasier. <laughs> <laughs> the symphony, they have like a Game of Thrones symphony here and they have a bunch of different themed ones in Toronto. Next time you guys are here, you should check it out. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I, I want to I start getting into that world, uh, just going out to different shows like that here. I'm going to refine my, um, my palette um, with theater. It's not that, that's not what I mean, but you guys get it. I, I will say that one that's time fun. I decided to refine my palette with theater and I fell asleep during King Lear. Um, King Lear? That sounds like it'd be boring. It was really boring and I'm pretty sure the guy playing King Lear was wasted and he was <laughs> kind of falling asleep. Um, yeah. And yeah. I, was op- I was opening a candy, like I was a walking Seinfeld episode, truly, but... Um, you could like hear everything? Yeah, and I was getting in trouble and I was like, this sucks. We all know this sucks. See, when we said we were going to go to the Nutcracker, like when I convinced John that we should go, 
And yeah. we both were like, well, we might only make it through half of it in case that's we don't right. like it. But that's, that's okay. Right. We'll give it a whirl. It's because I know we'll be in there for like, because it'll just get you to stop yapping about it. <laughs> and about 15, <laughs> minutes, 15 minutes in, we'll both be like, this kind of sucks, right? And we'll get up and we'll go somewhere good. good. Yeah, but hey, we tried. You yeah, got to try. The double down. What if we really like it? You know what? I feel like it'll be like exactly how I felt buying a very expensive bra. The process of getting it seemed fun until you realized it was really uncomfortable and you should have just went to like some place for 20 bucks. Yeah, I, mean, I, have, on I it. have no illusions about that I would like a ballet. Uh, yeah. I just want to like walk in there and we can like bring in like a flask and like roll in and like <laughs> <laughs> just like rig the our system leather a little jackets, bit, you know? Our whips. Yeah. Yeah, come on. We can wear full denim outfits. I don't know. I'm just Ooh. saying we can pick a theme and roll with it. No, I'm, no, I'm totally confused. I'm just well, trying to add a little spice into the nutcracker to shall we talk about it. it. Shall oh, we yeah. talk about our next, uh, as I'm not good at professionally transitioning, shall we talk about our last sponsor? Yeah, let's talk about our old pals, the Sock Club. Uh, Sock Club is great. You guys all know the holiday season is just around the corner. It's just about here. It's like 11 days away for it to be Christmas. Crazy. Um, and Sock Club is delivering the perfect gift experience, reminding your loved ones that you, uh, that you care each month with quality American-made socks. The socks are sent straight to your door, featuring different designs and a personal note every Every month that can be customized before each shipment. Uh, their packaging for this is amazing. I love so great cute. packaging. Um, I love that they have like the wax, like the seal. Yeah, the wax seal on there. But yeah, they're, they've got fresh, modern, classic designs, all made in the USA. There's men's, women's, and children's sizes that are available. They're delivered once a month. Uh, it's just like a great gift to give somebody. Keep somebody's feet warm or keep them for yourself, whatever you want. Who they're doesn't real want fancy. a new pair of socks? And no one is ever going to buy themselves like fancy little socks. You're just never oh, going to do no. it. No, no. So, I, I'm getting those Target socks. I want these socks. These ones, are, they're great. Every time I get a pack, uh, they're like super thick and plush. They're really great. And they don't get like weird after the wash, I will tell you, having worn them time and time again. <laughs> so what you guys got to do is go to SockClub.com slash girls and you guys get 15% off using our discount code girls at the checkout. That's SockClub.com slash girls. Uh, and give a little reminder of your love every month. Give Sock Club. Ooh, thanks, Sock Club. Yes, keep your uh, tootsies warm. I hate the word tootsies. Sorry, guys, I just said that. Yeah. I do too. It's Sorry. not good. They need to send more of them uh, RX bars to the house, man. I think that's why John wanted to come on here to try to get RX bars. Yeah. RX bars? You want RX bars, and I want Peloton. I want the Peloton bike. I'm putting it out there, you guys. Ooh, I, I, was, I tried one of those. And? What did you think? It's, it's pretty good. It's a quality bike. It's a quality bike. Peloton, quality bike. you heard it here first. Is this a, wait, yeah. is this like a go-on-the-street bike, or is this a, a gym bike? Like a, a gym bike. A, like a gym bike. Oh, it's the one that they had in Maui. Yeah, they had it in that thing. And I was like, I always see this on a... Uh, let me see the commercials. But it's, I didn't mess with, like, the computer interface or whatever. I'm really not interested in that. That seems like um, that would be the best part about it. Yeah, I guess no? so. Yeah. But, you know, yes, it's, it's, it's like a supportive. big iPad, and then you can do a live class or an on-demand class. Like, I, I don't want to brag, but I'm someone at the gym who stands there and goes, what is this? Well, oh, that's so, me. I need someone I need, to yell at me. I need, a, I need someone to yell. I need a class. I, I mean, there's a gym at my rock climbing facility. But oh, yes. I don't. Quick, quick like, shout out to the rock climbing. Woo woo, bouldering. Um, but I don't know what to do. They have like those, um, what are those uh, s- things from the ceiling called? Like handlebars? Oh, wait. Like yeah. A, a pulley? Like TRX? Uh, is that what oh, that is? The, yeah, TRX. Like the yellow yeah. bands. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I, there, no one's ever up there. And I'm like, I, I don't know how to adjust this. So I'm like. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, works. I, I get so confused with all that stuff. Like even today, okay. I got home and I'm like, well, I wanted to go do like a hot Pilates class or a boot camp. I just came back from doing yoga. But I was like, I need someone to, I'm in the mood right now where I just need someone to yell at me and tell me exactly what to do so that I totally. crank it out. I know that I got a good workout. And then he said that he would yell at me in the gym. But I don't know if that's the same effect. <laughs> I, don't, I, I would end up being like, well, I would want to kill you. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Brendan ran once and he was like, and then his body got a little sore and he's like, I don't, I just don't think I meant to do it. And I was like, okay, that's nice. <laughs> he got sore once. And he's yeah, like, I'm okay. Like, you get that calf soreness. It's hard to bounce back from. <laughs> I literally was like, maybe you could go to the gym. And he goes, I like my body. <laughs> I like, well, I guess that's, that's, that's what that is. I guess. That's man right that's there. The, that's the best response. <laughs> Not, <laughs> <laughs> just like, and then he did up his like, his cardigan and he was like, goodbye. <laughs> 
<laughs> you skinny piece of shit. <laughs> it, it's not fair. Men's bodies oh. process things so much differently. It's such bullshit. Like, totally I would love is. to be like, like for you, like for John, like when he's like, oh, I seem to like bulk up and just sit and eat. No one's ever said that to me in my life. Hey, can you bulk up? <laughs> like th- no. those words have never been uttered in my direction. It's like, no, go on a 500 calorie diet and we'll see where we end up. Oh my God. I'm just kidding. Like, that's extreme. That's not real. But no, you guys get my real. drift. But I love beer so much. It's like my preferred <sighs> beverage and it just it's makes my good. face fully round. And it's just like, I can't have that. The one thing I love so much it sucks. Oh, I know. And that's, I want like pasta all the time. I want pasta and I want beer. Why can I not have these things and just exist? You can. I can't. Because it's going to change everything. It'll change already, everything. <laughs> it's going to change everything. <laughs> I will not be the same person. I'd probably be really happy. I think you just psych yourself out, yeah. Maybe that's true. I don't know. I don't I don't know. But, I mean, it is very disappointing when you realize um, the effects of alcohol on your body. And it's not like an option to just go, well, I'm just not going to drink ever again because that's obviously not how life works over here. But, no. like, it makes you, like, soft, and it, it like, has an effect. But not for you, apparently, which is BS, but it does to me. Hmm. Well, <laughs> She's like, I met with a, sucks. hmm, <laughs> too bad for you. <laughs> what is dog oh, yeah. shit? I guess hearing that from the other side, I guess that sucks. Anyways, just eating <laughs> bread and beer. <laughs> I come home this morning. I'm like, oh, there's nothing in the... Uh, there was one bottle in the fridge of this cranberry horseradish sauce. I'm like, is this all you went to the grocery store to buy? He goes, no, I bought bologna and turkey. I'm like, well, where is it? And he's like, I ate it. Like, he just sat and ate bologna last night. <laughs> look, look, the, the dog helped me eat some of it. <laughs> oh, that, well, that, now like, that's what? cute. Now we got like, a good... That's a fun time. I, I said to him, I just went down for more. I was like, I was like, we ate all the meat. I was like... I just got, I was like, we ate two pounds of meat between us. <laughs> I was like, how much did you eat? <laughs> but he didn't answer. Two yeah. pounds of meat. You know what I had for breakfast yesterday when what? I got home was this uh, ginger cookie biscottis. Oh, the ones my mom made? Oh, delicious. <laughs> Actually, I tried so to find good. some from Starbucks to bring you this morning, but... Yeah, yeah, he gets to, he just eats whatever he wants. And there's no repercussions. I'm starting to get heartburn. It's all going downhill. Oh, yeah. well, you got to drink vinegar now. I mean, uh, listen, I just, it's not fun. I, I burn like a million calories a day, though. Well, tra la la. So like, well, know. he's like nine feet tall. I mean, that's true. Absolutely. He's a big man. Yeah, yeah. I got uh, yeah. to feed the big daddy. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's a private story, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds, sounds pretty cool. But. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is unrelated, but I wanted to say, so I was on my Instagram proudly talking about my bra sizing the other day, yeah. and a girl from Warby Parker was like, complimented me on my frames. Hell yes, because those are great frames. She said they're hard to pull off, and, and I she was impressed, and worked that, at Warby. And this is why I'm concerned, because... I would order those exact ones, but Why I do agree you? they're really hard to pull off. I think they're fine. Do You're it. in a very small category. Well, yeah, after they, she they messaged me, I was Aren't like, am I also a lifestyle glasses. blogger now? Like, I'm a yeah. rock climber. I'm a lifestyle blogger. I got Coming my look together. Right. Yeah. Everyone get in line. Back it up. Get you know, to I'm the back a, of the line. I might not be able to drink beer, but I've got clear glasses. That's all <laughs> gotta, I'm saying. We've got to pick and choose our uh, strengths, uh, you know? What's a lifestyle blogger? Oh, it's somebody who, like does a blog about their life <laughs> <laughs> and they cool. make so much money <laughs> oh here's a it's question. crazy we were talking about this last podcast john i'm curious what you think so the royal engagement happened and the girl who's married to, or getting married to prince harry was an actress and she was in a show here in toronto and got engaged and was like peace out like i'm just gonna be royalty now yeah, it's and great. Renee, you said, oh, didn't you say that it would be hard to let that stuff go? Like, you well, like, what? Okay, I did say it? that. Well, I think my initial thought about it was that, um, which was something you said to me before was something unrelated about how, like, princesses, uh, they always have to, like, prove their gumption in some way by, like, still working. Like, in any, like, Disney movie, it's like, well, yeah. I'm still a woman and I'm going to do the thing that I want because I've got dreams and goals. But it's like, Good. she got to check those off and she's like, well, I'm a princess now so get out get out of my face uh, well i think they still gotta do a bunch of like 
humanitarian work and they got right. a lot of responsibilities and shit. She's probably going to have a lot on her plate now. But it's not the same as like being like, well, you know, as well, I don't know what her real aspirations were. If she's like, I want to be an actress and it's the thing that I want to do. But now she's just like, I'm moving on. I'm going to be a humanitarian and I don't need to go to these petty auditions. Well, but yeah, cause... wouldn't you be like, peace out? I wouldn't even think twice. I'd be like, get me the carriage. I'm out of here. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> I'm never going to see you again. <laughs> she, could, well, she could just call any movie studio and be like, Princess here, will you put me in a new movie? That's actually you know? true. And they'd be like, uh, I guess. Do you I think that they would ever do it. a reality show on the no. rails? No. You know someone's pitched it a thousand times. Mm, I'm I sure. I don't, I don't think the royals need the money, though. No, they don't need the money, no. but like they'd be like, it'd be great publicity. Like I feel like the queen is such a riot. She's probably so much fun to hang out with. Can you imagine her on like, Drunk mm. History? Yeah, I uh, it might be too. <laughs> I love how you're, it it's not, not like imagine it. her just being a little tipsy or like you want her on the show. <laughs> yeah, put her on. I want to hear what kind of messed up shit she's got to say. In America, people do anything. In England, I feel like the royal people in England it's might true. be like a little more. A little highbrow. A little more highbrow about it. Highbrow. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm saying it, it could happen. I mean, look at the president right now. Things change. Uh, uh, yeah. I seen a thing that was, I seen a thing. <laughs> okay uh, we're with you on it's uh it's you know mark hamill did like the yes. animated yeah animated yeah. joker and it's mark hamill reading donald trump tweets in Ooh. the joker voice oh my god it's very funny that's awesome. that's great i love yeah I, I would be into listening to that for sure have you ever watched the president show it's on the it's on comedy central no so it's this guy who does this like incredible Trump impression and he like every week does like a fake talk show from the Oval Office. What? Based on what's happened in the news. Oh, that sounds it's amazing. So some of it's not great, but some of it's so funny. Yeah. He, I mean, it, it, he's, look, he sounds exactly like Trump and moves like Trump. It's like an incredible impression. It's, you guys should watch it. I was actually thinking yesterday in the shower that I need to start working on some impressions. This no, is oh God, Renee, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> No, you're, you're, he, he is good at impressions. He does the best impressions. He's good. What? Yeah, he's got good impressions. I got a couple, but you oh well, you do like good like they're, voice they're impressions. Of, like people, though, you know. We, yeah, of course, like got, friends and. Shit. I got oh, her dad down to a T, and she hates it. Oh, he, I hate when he does my dad. Yeah, yeah. It's really? Great. Oh, I want to hear it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody <laughs> knows them. They wouldn't know them. Okay, I'll I'll yeah. get it later. I, I've it, it's just it, it's pretty much generic Canadian dad. Oh, oh. like uh, oh yeah. no, it's pretty text, okay. Pretty His... texty. Like oh, where are you? Your apartment there, Stacy? <laughs> it's over apartment? on. Uh, oh yeah, take a left on a uh, Spadina. You know what you need to do. <laughs> I'm just impressed that you know you know the streets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, my dad oh, like is notorious for like giving directions and like especially uh, like I don't intro. Do he doesn't hear. I don't want to do the full thing publicly because I feel like I'm making fun of him. Okay, I'm sure no. he, if he's listening, he hasn't listened this long. He's shut it off. Do you think your mom listens to this? No. Oh. You don't think? I don't think so. Mm. Oh, okay. I don't think my mom knows how to listen to a podcast, to be honest. Oh, my parents don't even know what this is, and I've stopped even trying to explain it. I don't, yeah. They don't even know what the internet is. It's no, I don't. I, I tried to get my mom to listen to, like, a murder mystery podcast, and I, like, played some when we were driving, and she was, like, so disinterested. So she's definitely not listening to this. Why, you my want mom, to do a <laughs> <laughs> no. My mom got Twitter for, like, a day, and she tweeted at Kiefer Sutherland and was like... <laughs> I, she goes, I'm pretty sure we're related. Get in touch with me. And I was no, like, you can't. Yes. I was like, you can't be on the internet. You're just Get absolutely never going to be on the internet. <laughs> like, how embarrassing. Oh, I love that. Just keep for Sutherland. Um, just like well, eye for an eye. I feel like, guys, I want to let you know before this podcast comes to a close that the next season of The Bachelor is coming up. And I know you guys are new yes. fans to the franchise. So Ari is the new Bachelor um, will you guys be watching? Yeah, we were talking about it earlier today because it comes out on the first, right? Yes. So who is The Bachelor? We don't really know. Okay, so Ari um, is from like two... He's from a past season, I think Emily's season. Okay. Oh no, he he was from like back in the day, came back for another season. He's like an older Bachelor, but he's like 34. Oh. He's a race car driver. 
Oh, I remember hearing about the race car driver bit. Oh, but man. I was checking out the women that are going to be vying for his heart, and they're all like blonde. They're all look the same. I saw. I actually was it Sarah that posted something about that. Sarah Shuck. Oh, Did oh she, yeah, Sarah Shuck. She was like, like literally all the women look the same. Let me pull it up for you. Like it's like the most undiverse pile of women you've but ever seen. What I'm I, telling I don't you guys. Even know. Oh, good. You. You guys need to go watch Caitlin Bristow's Bachelorette season because that's what you'll enjoy. She's down for a party. She likes a good glass of whiskey. She hangs out. She doesn't care. It's a really good season. Um, is that the one with the girl that wrote the book? Um, no, she has her own pod. This girl has her own podcast. I feel like it oh. has to be live to enjoy it. That's why I, in, I enjoyed those it so are all much the, more. Those are I some thought. of the Bachelorette women. They're all the same. Uh, a bunch of basic bitches, man. <laughs> But that's, what, that's what's funny You've about it. You've been roasted. I don't, I don't even know how we, like, we somehow it ended up on the TV, like, the first episode of the season. Yeah. And we're, I'm thinking we're going to watch this for, like, five minutes. But then it's not that it's a good show. It's that it's so bad. <laughs> but it's, like, oh, yeah. pi- it's like picking. So it's like you pick the, you try to make picks. It's like. It's a gamble of it. Fantasy football or something. Well, that's it's what like, we It's do. like a big game. And you, you talk through the whole thing. And you just make fun of them and shit. I nailed it oh. with Vanessa uh, pretty early on last one. Yeah. Which is bad. And, got, but they're like, already the broken up. But. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, this is what we got to do. We got to yeah, get our pool. Pick, we got to go after winners, this pod. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We got to pick first person to go home. We got to pick winner. We got to pick most crier. We'll all get a little pool going. Okay, we'll let's do, do it. Pool. Yeah, let's pick some categories and make some uh, some good choices. I'm down. Yeah. Okay, we'll have like well, a I'm week, excited. I'll, I'll have a weekly roundup of the bachelor. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Hell I'll do a yes. weekly roundup. Uh, yeah, I get I'm going to make sure that I take quotes from him while we watch it because he says Please. the most. Bachelor fans, this week, Vanessa <laughs> out, Rachel in. <laughs> That's a good voice. You could be the announcer. You could be the host. He wants to be the host. He wants to go be. host it. Oh, the ho- host of The Bachelor would be my dream job. <laughs> you imagine sh- how much fun that is. You have just to come sit host there and the just Canadian say, one. like, hello, ladies. Well, as you know, <laughs> tonight is the phono- final rose ceremony. <laughs> so, uh, first you know, of all, time to, time, to say, or like, time to say your goodbyes. <laughs> first of all, if you came in the room and you were like, hey, ladies, I'd be like, hey, John, I'm the <laughs> <laughs> it is so out. fun. I'll bet that dude is a creep, though. I bet he's oh, one hundred percent. I bet he's crushing one hundred percent. No, crushing those girls behind the scenes. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, have you not seen Unreal? You guys have to watch Unreal. We don't it's, know. It's, oh, um, is that the series? The I've some. Maybe you were telling me about this. It's a dramatic. So basically, the producers from The Bachelor, or some of them, wrote <clears throat> or behind this new show called Unreal, and it's like a, a dramatic show about people who made the bachelor and it's like it's intense and the guy playing the host is a creep who gets with the girls because yeah he always looks like he's like sweaty and just off a bender oh you know yeah you know he's like when the girl gets eliminated and she's crying you know he walks with a limo and consoling her you know if you want to talk about this tonight you know (laughs) i'm in room room it's like chris chris harrison yeah (laughs) that guy probably makes bank Oh, totally. I think he's one of the producers now. But, um, but yeah, this season, I don't know how it's going to be. I think he's kind of boring, but... Um, Hopefully yeah. the girls bring a little spice. But oh, I like... Uh, yeah. I don't know. I love the crazy. I yeah. like the I, I like the Bachelor a bit more than the Bachelorette. Because the guys Agreed. will just like... They just want to get with her. It's like a competition. It's not... As, yeah, it's... I agree. That's He said the same thing, too. Yeah, I didn't like the... I didn't like the reverse. I, I don't like, like it, the reverse either. I, I, I like... I like the parade of women coming in one by one, and then me, <laughs> and then me judging them and picking them apart. You got to watch the Bachelorette. He's Canada charming, everybody. He's charming. <laughs> no, the Bachelorette Canada is the funniest kitschy thing ever. Oh, I'd watch that one. We should watch a Canadian one. I don't uh, know how we can get that. Maybe it's just like, on iTunes. Oh yeah, like I'm pretty sure, like I'm in love there, and she's like a pretty good girl. She's well, from Oshawa. <laughs> yeah. well, the dude that came in that was from Canada on um, Bachelor in Paradise. He was a handful. He was such oh, a Daniel? dud. Yeah, oh. Daniel's yeah. So I just stop skinny and weird. Like, he's a dork. He he's no a thanks. No but, thanks. Um, yeah, this season will be good. I'm excited. So we well, got to get our pool. Yeah, we'll, we'll, put, we'll, it, we'll put it. We'll put it together. We'll come up with some categories and make some predicts. Ooh, yeah. Well, we what a fun convo. Yeah, what a time. Thanks for joining us, dear. Darling. How did you How did you find it, John? What would you How would you feel about the whole situation? 
Oh, the show is it over? <laughs> <laughs> we're done. Yeah, oh, we're okay. wrapping it I up. I mean, we're still oh. recording, but yeah, we're wrapping it up here. Yeah, this, this was fun. You know, do you, you got to like come a back, girl? I, yeah, I didn't have to. Uh, you know, I thought I was gonna have to. You know, what? go off on some things. I don't know. I don't know. What did you think you were gonna yell about? I don't know. Like I, stuff we were trying about that you thought was dumb. No, like crystals. Know. Oh yeah, <laughs> he like you like a good crystal. You like a good crystal. Like a energy crystal? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm into See? it. See? Yeah. Like oh, it, my you know. God. He's in. He's in. Mm. I, He's thought, like, I thought you were going to come on here and talk about how, like, your favorite food is raspberries or something. <laughs> I was going to have to, like... <laughs> Tell everyone it's cheese yeah. and chips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. That's everyone's favorite food is cheese and chips. <laughs> yeah. No, this podcast ain't about raspberries. It's about dirty cheese and chips. Damn right it is. And Hell how we yeah. can't drink beer anymore. But we still do. Oh, I will. Hell yes. Hell um, yes. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for coming to hang out with us. Um, your you first do it appearance again. on the show. And we'll have you back on uh, to talk about The Bachelor later. Ooh. Well, that's a deal. All right. January 1st. Um, all right. Well, we did it. Yep. We did it. Um, thank you to our sponsors, HelloFresh and The Sock Club. Oh, yeah. Get some more RX bars, man. <laughs> I love the delicious. The, they're they're delectable, man. <laughs> I just got back from India and I you can't eat any of the food over there. At least that wasn't going to dare. So I just literally ate nothing but RX bars. What's your favorite RX bar? <laughs> oh, Get blue, your plugs in. Let the, them know. The blueberry, man. Okay. The blueberry. Delicious. Okay, you. Okay, John. Asking you shall receive. <laughs> what is that sound? <laughs> His mouth just started watering. <laughs> She's slurping up the RX bar. <laughs> Uh, Give yes. the man some RX bars. He needs them. Three egg whites, yes. 14 almonds, and two dates. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, I hate Ew, that okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, thank you guys for listening. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.